All right, so in this video, I want to do a Google Ads audit. Um, got a new client a uh, little while ago, and uh, just got, just gonna do like a a walkthrough of like what it is that we check to make sure that it's running fine. So I've already done a little bit, and we've already decided what we're gonna do. But I've decided it's a good idea to do this. So number one is <clears throat> how long has this ads campaign been running? Because there are many things that might be good that you can keep. So like for instance, sometimes campaigns will be set up well ad groups are well keywords are set up well and we just have to optimize it in the sense of like we just have to tighten things up sometimes they're not set up well at all sometimes it's like half and half sometimes they're set up where like it may appear like it's good but it might not be and i think this is kind of the situation for this one is it appeared to be good because um there was only one campaign running and it's a leads ad meaning that there's a bunch of conversions on it so it has 12 1,274 conversions, right? So the an the question is, well, what makes it a conversion? Because depending on what the conversion is, it really depends on what's being tracked. So like if it's form submissions and and like tracked phone calls, then those are really good. But we have to check. So to check, we're going to go to report. And most aren't going to be set up like this. That's why this is kind of weird. So I go to conversions. And here you can see that there's 902 calls from ads. So I click this so I can see calls, phone calls, leads, primary action, one calls from every conversion, 60 seconds, 30 days. So it looks like if the call is more than 60 seconds, it's considered a uh, it's considered a, a lead, a good conversion. So and then the website here it says calls from website 332. So these are all based off of calls contact forms also have that so click to cause contact form 40 but the thing is i don't know how they're being tracked i have no idea so like it may be good it may not be good um uh, but from uh, from my understanding uh, they're getting all their leads from google and from word of mouth but <clears throat> i'll walk you through and say and show you why i'm a bit confused about this so if i go back to all campaigns um there's only one campaign. There's only one. Uh, there's a couple ad groups, which is actually good, right? They broke it up. You know, whoever created this at first broke it up into five ad groups. And, our, and in this case, they do do civil, family, criminal, immigration, personal. But the thing is, when I spoke to them, they said that they've been getting way too many civil cases. And they don't really do civil cases. It's not what they want to do. And they don't really do it. But everything they've been getting is civil cases. So I look here. And it turns out that the majority of all the conversions they've gotten has been 793 conversions for civil case. This is decaf coffee. It's also 5.54 a.m. <laughs> um, and so you, you can already tell like, okay, well, why are we paying for so many conversions on civil law when that's, I was told that that should be 1% of their business. Like that's not what they want to be doing. Their, their main uh, business is immigration and criminal defense. And as you can see, that makes up like not even about not even half of of all the conversions here that the, the, that civil law has been getting. So number one is like our, our campaign is flip flop. Like it's not optimizing for what we want to optimize for. So that's one thing. Another thing we can look at is, <clears throat> you know, I like to see what what uh, what has the more most interaction so of course 2900 clicks 43,000 impressions <laughs> click through rate 6.63 average cost per clicks 4.96 and cost is 14,000 for those six seven months and the search impression share is actually really high and the click share is really you know decent so search impression share means how out of all the impressions out there how many times did we come up so one fourth 25 percent one out of every four search for civil law in theory, right? Because I mean, once I get into inside the ad group, it's going to get a little weird. Um, <clears throat> once you get inside the civil law group, I'm sorry. In theory, civil our civil ads group campaign <clears throat> is is popping up 25% of the time, right? And then 15% of the time, we're getting the clicks, meaning that there meaning that there's 85% clicks out there that we're not getting, and, that, and that's good because all that's telling you is there's more clicks out there right so and we do the same with that so family fa the rest are like not showing up really and this is a dynamic ad group 
meaning Google kind of built it for them. <clears throat> so it's under 10. Everything else is under 10. So it's not getting a whole lot of, uh, it's not appearing as much. Um, and so, okay, fine. So from a high level view, it looks good. Like it looks fine. So in, for lawyers, it is kind of pricey to get clicks. So these are actually not bad. 4.96, they're all pretty much under $5 except personal entry, which makes sense. But again, the average cost per click depends on the keyword. So if the keyword is not relevant or the keyword's way out of what they want to get, that number, that data is false because it's like, <clears throat> let's say I want to come up for, you know, uh, advertising agency in Houston. Like in my head, that's what I want to come up with. And let's say my, let's say I get a bunch of clicks and the average cost per click is super low, like a dollar. But what if my targeting is for the whole United States? And I'm spending two hundred dollars a day. Like, even though I want to come up for a advertising in Houston, but I'm only and my, my keyword is actually advertising agency, and I pull it all in the United States. Well, of course, I'm gonna get a lot of clicks because people around the United States are looking for that. But it's highly irrelevant because it's not likely. Well, for advertising agencies, that does make sense. But let's say it's a local carpet cleaning company like then it really really doesn't make sense so you're not gonna go to california or new york or chicago or oklahoma to do carpet cleaning Cause it's just not it's a local business so <clears throat> so we're gonna go into this ad group now and we're gonna see the keywords so number one is like there's very little bit of keywords on on first glance it's like well there's not so many in here so all right that's the first thing i think the second thing i say is that they're on broad match Broad match is not necessarily a bad thing, but usually you want to use this more of a, an, as an experiment. So, like, you want to see, I'm going to put broad match to see what keywords we're getting when we kind of let, we we don't restrict the, you know, the keyword. So, if you're not aware, broad match means I'll get things that are broadly associated with these keywords. So, abogados de, that means it's going to, that's a Spanish word. So, civil, civil lawyer, it could be anything related to this. So, civil lawyer job civil lawyer in houston civil lawyers that can help me get out of my situation uh how much does a civil lawyer make things like that it'll pull anything related to civil lawyer or or synonyms like civil lawyer um abogado civil so that's just uh you know civil lawyer in spanish so here's one thing that you notice real quick too is like why is it that the ads are both the english and spanish keywords are within the same ad group Again, that's not necessarily bad, but but it is because these are going to be using the same settings and you're going to have only, I haven't even checked, but like it might have English as a language, it might have Spanish as a language, or it might have English and Spanish as a language. But the problem is if you want to come up, if somebody looks up a Spanish keyword, you want the ad to come up in Spanish because it just makes sense. If it's an English keyword, then you don't, obviously you don't want the ad the actual ad that comes up to have any Spanish in it because that'll just confuse people. So, I mean, that's pretty simple. So that's like one thing you immediately say, okay, well, we should split up the campaign into two campaigns, one English and one in Spanish. So we're going to do that. Um, and then what I find is like none of these are actually civil keywords if you think about it. Like there's civil lawyer and then there's abogado civil, right? And then abogado de, that just means lawyer, uh, like lawyer and then you could say lawyer personal injury lawyer car accident loyal lawyer um lawyer like any kind of lawyer lawyer in houston lawyer of business litigation so like it could be any type of lawyer so i think i think as an ad group it doesn't make sense to have it here so i think there should be a more general ad group or just removed um because you can get anything for this, right? So removed. But I do think as a, almost like as an accident, this is a, this is going to bring some business in because like it just brings up anything related to to lawyer. And if, and if it might hit, right, it might, they might, the person searching for this might actually look up lawyer in Houston and, and they might be needing a civil or immigration or personal injury. So it actually kind of does work out, but not to like, but but a lot of times it doesn't work out, so that's the problem with it. So as you can see, like 
abogado de trabajo. So this is this means work injury, right? So like, so like that could be another, either another ad group. I don't know if it belongs here. Um, and you can see that this campaign spent fourteen hundred over the last six seven months. Let me just July, August, September, October, November, December. Yeah, seven months. It's January now. <clears throat> And again, they're broad match. So then the next thing you want to do, so the first thing we did was look at the over cam ca overall campaign, look at the overall ad groups. Then we're going to go into the search terms. So the search terms are going to tell us what is it exactly that people looked up that led us to our ad and led us to a click. So I'm going to filter this, I mean, add more rows to this. So then it gets really specific on what it is that people clicked on. And see, this is why the conversions don't make sense. Now, let me explain. So, Abogado Rene Gonzalez. So, this is somebody, but this is not anybody in, this is not part of their law firm. So, this is actually somebody who's not associated with their law firm. So, number one, they shouldn't be coming up for this. Number one, even though all the data indicates that it's good, it's 63 clicks, 318 in person. 19.81 in uh, click through rate. That means anytime someone sees this ad, 20% of the time they click it. That's really high. Usually it's going to be like 3 4%. 6 is really good. Um, average cost per click, 4.61. But like, what does that even mean? $290 spent on this keyword that I, you know, if they click and call, it's like, can I speak to Avogadro Rene Gonzalez? It's going to be like, why? Nobody, of, nobody named Rene Gonzalez is going to be here. 27 conversions, so apparently 27 that people called asking for the wrong person. That's what the data indicates. Unless that lawyer's, I've asked, like, is this lawyer there? I highly doubt it. <clears throat> Anyways, let's just go out through a couple of these because there's like 6,000 keywords I saw or something like that. Let's just look real quick. Yeah, there's 6,622 search terms, so you'll never finish. And that's why you want to keep, a, you know, like a weekly check so that you don't let it get out of hand <clears throat> uh, abogado perro so that means like dog lawyer so that could mean so many things like is it because you got bit by a dog are you looking to defend your dog again renee gonzalez who is that so let's just do let's just do a search and so this is already an actual renee gonzalez so this is actually somebody right they are located in Houston, but this is not this is not their office. This is somebody else. So like it makes no sense to come up for that. And we can already see that we've spent you know, three, four hundred dollars on that. Five hundred. <laughs> so this is the actual client. So this is good. So we we might we might want to make a a brand key term, right? So that we come up for for any time they look up the name, anytime they look up um, the law firm name. That would be Abogado Arnold Lopez. Abogado Civil, as you can see, this is the one that we saw earlier. Small Claims Court Houston. So, like, that's bad, right? Because they're not Small Claims Court. They're lawyers. Why are they, why are they coming up? Um, why are they coming up getting 13 clicks, you know, spending $58 and somehow getting five conversions? See, that's not real. Because that means that at least five people called or submitted a form. But they're not, they're, you don't want to be getting small claims court things. <laughs> All right, just a couple more. Abogado, I guess somebody who that's not in their office. I don't even know what that means. So, of course, civil attorney. But again, a lot of these are like competitor type keywords. So, what you would do in this situation, if you were going to keep it, if you were going to keep it, what you would do is, like, let's say there was only a couple of these and these weren't like flooding the search terms report, you would just add them as negative keywords, right? So, like, you would say add as negative keywords. And all that means is, like, anytime somebody searches this up, I don't want to come up. So, if I caught one click, right, let's say there was one click, four impressions, whatever, we spent, whatever, say $4. If I put it as a negative keyword, if this keyword pops up again, we would not show. Meaning, we wouldn't have spent $290. We would have only spent $284, $85. So, that's super important. And then our budget can be used elsewhere on the keywords that we do care about. All right. So I'm not going to do that because I'm not going to keep this campaign going. Um, and if I did that, it's like I would only do a couple because like there's 6,600 keywords. 
only on civil law. <laughs> so there's like, there's still criminal, there's still family, there's still immigration, there's still these leads when there's still prison entry. So it just doesn't, I, like, I, I was just going to fix this campaign, but then it's like, dude, to fix this campaign is more than just building a new one. Um, so there's that, okay? So we do that. And then we then we even go a step further where it could be even more wrong. So what I like to check is the campaign, right, overall, the ad group, overall, the keywords, overall, the search terms, overall. And then it, it might it might... It might turn into something completely different. So let's go back to the um, the campaign level. So I click the campaign, and then I'm gonna click. Oh, yeah. Then I click settings. So settings is gonna tell me like what, it, what it's like the specifics for every ad group, every keyword, every search term is gonna be underneath these settings. They all share the same settings. So no campaign name. Uh, goals is leads and which is not bad right enabled it's on so google search network search partners display network usually i keep it on just google search network display network means that it'll pop up like anywhere but it, like anywhere that they can show it i, I specifically like it to be only on google.com um because i don't know what the other ones are right so i would take these off and then here's where it's like 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 what what happened here when you look at the location, again, all these ad groups, all the keywords, all the ads, they're all being, these are the zip codes. And when I spoke to them, they're like, yeah, we have all the zip codes for um, where we want to show them, which is good, right? It's a little bit more, it's a bit more uh, granular. Uh, I, I don't think you have to go that far because you can just do a radius around the office. And that makes sense too, their office. But then you go in here and you see that Georgia is being targeted. One, two, three, four zip codes in Georgia are being targeted. So that's not good. That means anytime some, if somebody looks up that abogado de keyword, meaning lawyer in or lawyer of, it's very possible that they can come up for Georgia keywords. And we can actually check that. And I'll show you right now. But before we do that, they're, they're targeting in English and Spanish. So that's good because it's showing both. It's showing both um, languages. But again, if an English person looks up a keyword and it prompts an, a Spanish ad, that's no bueno. Uh, I, I think they don't have a setup that way. I think all the ads are in English. So the thing is, a, a Spanish keyword might lead to a, a Spanish keyword might lead to a, sorry, somebody texted me. Spanish keyword might lead to a, a an English ad, but it's just if it's in Spanish, if a person wants to speak Spanish and they see that it's all in Spanish, they're going to be like, oh, okay, they have to speak Spanish. It just makes people feel more comfortable because a lot of times people, you know, Spanish speakers look up lawyers that speak Spanish. Abogados que hablan español. Like, this, this makes sense. Um, so, again, we'll have to tear those apart. 147 uh, ads per day. That's fine. Their ad spend, that, that is what they spend. Um, so, then the bidding is maximize convergence. Target CPA, $19. So like this is this would be good like that means that they want to pay nineteen dollars per conversion that's what that means, but the problem is the conversions do, that they're getting don't make any sense. So although technically they are hitting the target CPA cost per acquisition, it's like you're acquiring the wrong things. So it's like, and then the way the ad campaign was built prior, like whoever built it or whatever. But not that it's anybody's fault, right? Different experience level. It's like if if it's a if it's built the way it is, which is not the best, and you're trying to optimize for the best, because that this would be you know, maximize conversions would be like the final step after you've gathered enough data and you know exactly what you target. This would be the final step. It's it's kind of like that doesn't make sense. It'd be like you're a bad runner, but you signed up for the marathon. It's like you're not ready to run the marathon yet, right? Um, and so this, I would change. I would change the website traffic because first you want to learn. You want to see what it is. You just want to send as much traffic to the website as possible, see what happens, and then adjust. But I don't think we would be even able to adjust because I don't think the conversion is right. So that has to be fixed. Um, after that, uh, so start day, June. So, so that's it. So let's go back to the uh, – so we can go here under settings. It will say locations. And as you can see, it's targeting these little blue things. 
It's targeting Houston, which is good. Like, it can't go that wrong if it's in Houston. And then over here, Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, sorry, Georgia. And it's like close to Atlanta, Georgia. It's like, why on earth? Like, this company can't, they're not able to service people in Georgia. It doesn't make no sense. So, that had to be by mistake. So, again, what you would do here is you would come in here, as you can see, Georgia's right here. You would go in here and just take these off if you were going to keep the campaign. But I'm going to leave it because. I'm, you know, there's no sense in fixing this. Um, and then just to do a quick math, they spent one thousand five hundred, so about fifteen hundred dollars on Georgia keywords. So like, that's a complete waste of money, easily. So if, if anything, like, let's say we were just gonna fix their campaign, they at the very least know that they're gonna save more money <laughs> or, or use their money more efficiently. How about how's that? So there's that, um, so campaign, ad group, keyword, search terms, settings, and within settings, obviously, locations, uh, campaign goals, things like that. And then the other thing I like to check is ad schedule. So they're, they're doing every day, um, every day at all times, which I prefer. Um, sometimes you'll find, like, weird stuff, like they're closed during Monday, Tuesday, and they're open. Like, it's some, something that gets weird. But in this case, it's, it's, it's not bad. <clears throat> and that is that the key, the keyword audit, right? Or sorry, the Google Ads audit. And we're basically just looking at like, okay, well, what has happened in X range amount of time and what kind of improvements can we make? So based off of that, my recommendations are, okay, number one, split up the campaigns. One English, one Spanish. Within that, because they're only doing broad match and they actually don't know what the keywords should be, we're going to do... Um, English exact and English phrase match. So then we can kind of see, okay, what are we getting from this? We're going to do that. And then we're going to do that for Spanish. So Spanish exact Spanish brought uh, phrase two campaigns, right? And then in each keyword in each campaign, we're going to build this. We are going to copy the same process of like the ad groups. So we'll have the five main services they want to copy. We might throw in like a general one, like a general keyword one maybe because it, it they should fit all the general terms should fit within each ad group if they're looking for specifics <clears throat> it should um i forgot i forgot to show the ads real quick so the other thing you want to check is the ads and the ad extensions so so i like looking at the actual ad and then you'll see like what they're they're going for so like they have just very simple. Oh, they do have Spanish ads. So, like an English person, English keyword, English search can look up uh, personal injury attorney, and then they might see abogados para demandar. And if you're an English speaking person and you see a Spanish keyword, it's like that's kind of weird. I mean, I get it, and it might not change your decision from clicking it, but it might. It might, and vice versa. If you look up a Spanish keyword and you see English ad, it's like that doesn't make sense. Um, okay, so yeah, so they, they have it in Spanish and English. That's another thing we'll fix. Um, now I forgot what I was saying, but each each ad, we are capping the campaign. Each ad group will have its, uh, it will copy the same kind of layout about ad groups. And then each, we're going to have to do some keyword research and, and, and put in new keywords because most of these groups don't, it, it, it doesn't make sense what they have. So, like, if I look at immigration real quick, this is search keywords. So, this this one they put more. But, like, if I look at, like, even if I look at the filter by clicks, immigrant green, green card, you know, like, it, it, they're all, they're not the best keywords, I would say. So, so yeah, uh, we'd have to add a, a keywords again, like, do a keywords analysis of add keywords to each campaign both in spanish and english making them exact and phrase is easy um we're gonna make webs them website traffic we're gonna do um we're gonna make new ads on each one of them so that they actually make uh like they fit to each category so if it's a civil search they get civil related ads um and then that's it that should be it uh that already i feel is gonna get them more relevant clicks 
and and let's hope it does so that's a google audit of how we would do it so first you just look at everything that's happening <clears throat> you can either fix it if it's fixable or you can just if it's better to make a new campaign to make a new campaign and um if it's too bad then you got to strategize on how you're going to do it <clears throat> depending if you have access to the website access to you know whether they use call tracking or if these google numbers um you can set up how the conversion is going to be made and that is all if you have any questions, reach out. And if you need services, contact us, symphonyadvertising.com. We're available to help. <clears throat> okay, bye.